Ready to go? Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to talk about the follicular development as well as the ovulation and some of the uh, features here. We have our ovary. This is what happens within the ovary. We have your ovarian ligament, uh, portions of your broad ligament, um, some vessels. Um, these are the stages in here that we're going to begin to talk about. Uh, we begin with these smaller um, follicles here, which are the primordial follicles. Uh, we are missing our primary follicle, but what happens is our granulosa or granulous cells begin to divide, which begins to expand the uh, cell. From our primary follicle, we go to our secondary follicle, where we can see uh, our granulous cells, granulous cells begin to divide some more and grow, and also note the formation of the antrum. That is the secondary um, follicle. Uh, after that, we get our tertiary or graphene follicle, where we, our antrum is way larger. It begins to grow much large. You can see our oocyte inside. It's surrounded by the uh, zona pellucida as well as these granulous cells, granulous cells. Uh, when the ovulation occurs, as you can see here, it, our oocyte, our egg, has broken through our ovary wall here. As you can see here, our oocyte breaking through the ovary wall with the granulous, granulous cells following along with it. It is the corona radiata. Remember our oocyte or egg will then um, exit out the ovary and uh, be uh, pulled in by the fembrae up along the oviduct or fallopian tube or uterine tube, whatever you like to call it, uh, and travel the uh, fallopian tube for those six days. Um, what's happening in the meantime, we get our formation here of the corpus luteum. Formation of the co corpus luteum begins. Uh, here is a uh, corpus luteum here. Uh, our corpus luteum is releasing that estrogen as well as uh, progesterone. It's uh, releasing that estrogen to uh, prepare that um, endometrium of the uterus or stratum functionalis so that it could uh, nourish it with the uh, spiral arteries so that wall can become thickened in case um, pregnancy does occur. Um, those six days, if uh, pregnancy does not occur, the uh, progesterone then decides to kill our corpus luteum and then now it has become corpus albicans, which is the last stage there. Bam!